Welcome to Module 4 of the 6-Module Training Program for Community Partners. This is the first part of the three-part training on how to use the Washington Health Plan Finder web portal at www.wahealthplanfinder.org. This three-part course about Health Plan Finder provides an overview covering how community partners with enhanced access in the Health Plan Finder web portal can assist individuals in applying for and renewing Apple Health coverage. In this module, we will cover the following topics. How to create an individual account, how to manage an individual account, guest accounts, person ID matching, and ID proofing. Let's begin with an overview of the Health Plan Finder web portal. This is a screenshot of the Health Plan Finder home page. Health Plan Finder is an easily accessible online marketplace for individuals, families, and small businesses in Washington State to compare and enroll in health insurance plans. This one-stop shop will enable individuals to determine eligibility for free or low-cost health care coverage, including no-cost Apple Health Medicaid and low-cost Apple Health with premiums for kids, as well as health insurance premium tax credits, often referred to as HIPTC. Health insurance premium tax credits, or HIPTC, are the subsidies that are provided by the federal government through Health Plan Finder to lower an individual's monthly premium amount. Health Plan Finder also allows individuals to receive personal customer support to find, apply, and enroll in the right health plan that meets their needs. Individuals can review, compare, and select an Apple Health Managed Care Plan or a Qualified Health Plan, commonly referred to as QHP. Qualified Health Plans or QHPs are those health insurance plans that an individual is able to purchase at full cost through Health Plan Finder. Let's review the scope of this HCA community-based training. This training is intended for Healthcare Authority community partners who assist individuals with applying for and renewing Apple Health coverage in Health Plan Finder. This training is not intended to teach community partners how to guide consumers in HIPTC or the selection of a QHP. Those who obtain HCA Community Partner Enhanced Access in Health Plan Finder should not assist clients with reviewing or purchasing a qualified health plan. Once an individual is found ineligible for Apple Health coverage, the assister should refer the individual to the Health Benefit Exchange to complete the review and selection of a QHP with or without tax credits. If the QHP customer does not have online access, this referral should be to an HPE in-person assister or to the Health Plan Finder Customer Support Center for questions or guidance regarding QHP. Washington Health Plan Finder is the application portal for the following programs. Washington Apple Health, which includes Medicaid and CHIP, the Children's Health Insurance Program, Apple Health offers year-round enrollment, in other words, there is no open enrollment period, and health insurance premium tax credits and qualified health plans. Both of these programs require an individual to enroll during an open enrollment period. In this third year of the Health Benefit Exchange, open enrollment for 2016 coverage will be from November 1, 2015 to January 30, 2016. There are some exceptions for triggering events when special enrollment will be allowed for HIPTC and QHP. These triggering events include life changes such as divorce, loss of coverage, or gaining a dependent child. The special enrollment period is 30 days from the triggering event. Once logged into Health Plan Finder, you have access to certain navigation features. The Wayfinder feature shows you where you are at in the application process step by step. The Go To Home page link is self explanatory. The Back button is on the lower left side of the page. Use this and not the Browser Back button on the top left of the screen. Using the Browser Back button will cancel your session and you will lose all the information already entered. Field level help is provided throughout all screens and fields. Clicking on this button will give you more information on how to fill out a particular field on the page. Two more navigation features in Health Plan Finder are the top page bar 
This feature is found at the top of each page where you can access customer support and the home page. This is also where you can change the language to Spanish by clicking en Español. The website experience will convert entirely to Spanish from English. The bottom page bar includes links and general information such as about Health Plan Finder, Health Plan Finder's privacy policy, the Consumer Information Center, and the Contact Health Plan Finder button. When customers click on the Customer Support link, a drop-down will appear that allows customers to contact the Customer Support Center, browse frequently asked questions, view glossary of terms, search for a navigator or broker, and co-browse by sharing their web screen with an account worker. Those who complete the full six-module community-based training, pass the assessment test, and successfully complete the registration process will be granted enhanced access in Health Plan Finder. The user will be sent a Health Plan Finder username and password directly from Health Plan Finder IT account support. The user will be prompted to change their password at the time of initial login to Health Plan Finder. They will be emailed an authorization code each time the community partner logs into Health Plan Finder, which is required to obtain access to Health Plan Finder. On the left is an example of the authorization code email sent to an enhanced access user from Health Plan Finder at the time of each login. This provides the five-digit code needing entered on the additional authorization required screen shown on the right side of this slide. At each login, you will enter the five-digit authorization code you receive via email and click Log In. Let's review the typical user flow for obtaining Apple Health coverage and enrollment into an Apple Health Managed Care Plan. First, the individual is prompted to create an account. Account creation is optional for Apple Health clients and they can choose to continue using a guest account. The application or renewal for health care coverage is submitted and eligibility for Apple Health is determined. If found eligible for Apple Health coverage, the recipient will now have the option to select an Apple Health Managed Care Plan in Health Plan Finder. And enrollment is now complete. Now we will cover the first step, creating an individual account in Health Plan Finder. Although it is not required for an applicant for Apple Health to create an account, let's review why account creation can be very beneficial to the user. The individual can easily log in and out during the application process, such as taking a break and returning later to complete their online application. An account allows the individual to quickly report changes about his or her household that may impact coverage. The individual can operate as a more independent user, especially during times like renewal or changing their managed care plan. The individual is given the option to receive his or her correspondence notifications via email. Here are some key characteristics of an individual account. Any user who is applying for coverage for themselves or their household can create an individual account. To have an account, the individual is required to provide a username, password, email address, and answers to security questions. Those applying for HIPTC or QHP are required to create an account. Only users who are eligible for Apple Health may submit an application without an account. In order to create an account, the user must provide a username and password, an email address, answers to three security questions, and his or her acceptance of the user agreement. The username must be 6 to 20 characters, with at least one letter and one number, password must be 8 characters long, and include upper and lowercase letters, a number, and a non-alphanumeric character. The email address must be unique within Health Plan Finder. If someone else has created an account using that same email address, you will not be able to use that email address to create an account. The process is pretty easy to create a username and password, as you will get prompted along the way. Again, here's another example of the Health Plan Finder home page. By clicking on the button Sign In, users have the option to sign in to initiate the account creation process. The username and password are the two pieces of information that the individual will use to log in and out of Health Plan Finder directly from the home page. After completing all required fields on the account creation screen and pressing Create Account, 
If this step is not performed, the information will not be saved. The individual's account will be created and the individual will be able to log in and out of Health Plan Finder. Furthermore, after completing the screen, application information begins being saved to the database. Now let's talk about managing an individual account. Every time an individual logs in, they are taken to their individual dashboard. An individual with an active Washington Health Plan Finder account will have the ability to perform a variety of activities related to their individual account via the individual dashboard. The dashboard will serve as the user's primary gateway to their Health Plan Finder experience and will be the first screen that they see after successfully logging into their Health Plan Finder account. After completing the initial enrollment process, the individual will be able to access their individual dashboard from which they'll be able to perform a number of useful tasks. Receive and view correspondence from Washington Health Plan Finder. Maintain, update personal account and personal and household information, such as change password, address, and income. Submit any required documents as well as initiate partnership with a broker or navigator who are community partners designed to provide support to individuals should the individual reach out to them. The Home tab, Quick Links are common functions already accessible on other tabs. Clicking on them takes the individual to the tab where the function's corresponding button can be found. The Action Center tab, upload any documents required by Washington Health Plan Finder for validation or verification purposes. The Message Center, the place where the individual has on-demand viewing of all correspondence sent out by Washington Health Plan Finder. The individual can view a summary of their household's coverage here and search for a broker or navigator. If the individual has U.S. mail indicated as their preference, the correspondence is generated in a nightly batch, stored on their Message Center for on-demand viewing, and a hard copy is sent to their mailing address. If the individual has email indicated as their preference, the correspondence is generated in a nightly batch, stored on their message center for on-demand viewing, and an email is sent to their email address asking them to log in and view their message center. From the My Household tab, the individual can make updates to their account information and their application information. In some cases, the updates made to their application may be minor, like changing a phone number. In cases where these changes are more significant, such as a change in income, the individual's eligibility may be impacted and thus may trigger a change reporting process. On the bottom part of the My Household tab, they can view summaries of each household member's coverage. By clicking on View Your Household Coverage History, the individual can see a summary of the coverage their family has received in the past. By clicking on View Your Household Eligibility Information, the individual is taken to the Application Review screen, where they can look over all the information they provided when initially completing their application. From this tab, the individual can upload a verification document, view documents currently being reviewed by HPE staff, and see that documents have been submitted and accepted previously. Now we will be covering how to create a guest account, person ID matching, and identity proofing. Only a certain portion of the individual user population, those who qualify for Washington Apple Health, will be able to submit an application without creating an account. An individual applying for free and low-cost health insurance programs may initially skip account creation. However, if they are determined ineligible for Washington Apple Health, they will be required to create an account before they are able to complete enrollment and receive coverage. This is the account creation requirement prompt the individual will view after receiving their eligibility results if they are HIPTC or QHP eligible. This will occur if any member on the application is HIPTC or QHP eligible even if some members are Apple Health eligible. Only those qualifying for Washington Apple Health will be able to submit an application without creating an account. On the account creation screen, the user has the ability to skip account creation entirely and to proceed as a guest. However, if some or all household members are determined ineligible for Washington Apple Health, they will be required to create an account before they are able to purchase a QHP or receive HIPTC. There are a number of benefits to having an account. 
A Health Plan Finder account makes it easier for community-based organizations to track and monitor an individual who does not have a physical address without the individual being physically present. This could be helpful for a client who is homeless and does not have a mailing address or email account. Having a Health Plan Finder account also enables the individual to choose the Go Paperless option. By going paperless, an individual receives notifications by email telling him or her that there is a message in his or her Health Plan Finder message center. The applicant would then log on to his or her account to access the correspondence in the message center. However, not everyone will want to or will be able to create an account. For these individuals, they will need to continue as a guest. To continue as a guest, the individual clicks on Skip Account Creation at the bottom of the Create Account screen. A person ID is a system-generated numerical identifier stored in Health Plan Finder for use behind the scenes when confirming an individual's identity. Health Plan Finder stores person ID information for every person listed on an application in Health Plan Finder. If any individual enters information that matches a person ID, Health Plan Finder will remember them. In order to ensure that the user entering in the new information is in fact the same user associated with the person ID, the system has a series of different responses that it will enact based on the exactness of the information match. This generates the Confirm Your Identity screen shown on this slide. The questions are not generated by Washington Health Plan Finder. The federal government contracted with one of the credit check database companies to provide this service. This is similar to doing a credit check and it is required to verify who the individual is. By answering the questions on the screen correctly, the individual essentially proves to Washington Health Plan Finder that the information match is not a coincidence. When these questions are answered correctly, the individual is granted access to the dashboard associated with their person ID. Individuals need to complete this ID proofing step only once. Before we teach you how to provide assistance in the ID proofing process and avoid a call to the Health Plan Finder Customer Support Center, let's review some helpful tips for adding individuals into Health Plan Finder. To decrease the number of application errors, please use the following suggestions when entering information on the first two screens in Health Plan Finder. Request demographic information from the primary applicant for all members of the household, including full name, date of birth, and social security number. If the family is already known to the ACES DSHS eligibility system, be sure to include the following information. The primary applicant in Health Plan Finder should be the same person who is listed in ACES as the head of household. You will know who is the head of household by looking at recent letters from DSHS. The head of household will be the person to whom the letter is addressed. Use the exact full name, including the middle initial, if this is how each family member is listed in ACES. List all household members in Health Plan Finder who are currently active or listed in ACES. For individuals who are unable to pass the identity proofing screen, community partners with enhanced access and health plan finder have the ability to provide additional assistance. If an individual fails the identity proofing check during the online application process, the individual receives a screen that he or she failed ID proofing and should contact the health plan finder customer support center. Community partners with enhanced access have the ability to manually ID proof the individual and thus get the individual past this point. To complete manual verification for an application, a community partner with enhanced access does the following. Request proof of identity from the approved list to the right. If the applicant provides one of these documents, you may manually verify his or her identity. If the applicant does not provide one of these documents, you may not proceed. Explain to the individual that he or she failed to pass the identity proofing service required by federal law. The applicant must submit documentation and complete the application within 90 days. Next, upload a copy of the individual's document to his or her Health Plan Finder account. On the individual's dashboard, click on Action Center. In the Category field, select Conditional Eligibility Other. In the Type of Document field, select Other Documents. Assign the document to the appropriate household member. 
provide the following comments in the additional information section. Individual failed identity proofing service, submitted proof of identity, identity confirmed, document status needs updating to reviewed. Then upload the document. Navigate to the ID proofing screen. Access the individual's dashboard. Click account home. Click verify ID proofing located in the quick links. Health Plan Finder routes you to the Application Review screen. Next, on the Application Review screen, click on the ID Proofing link located directly above and to the right of Primary Account Holder. This will generate the Verification pop-up screen. In the Verification Status field, select Manually Verified. Enter Current Date in the Verification Date field and click Update. After identity is verified, complete the application. Navigate to the individual's dashboard. Click Complete My Application. You will be taken to the Application Review screen. Complete the rest of the application beginning at the Contact Information screen by selecting the Edit button. Make sure that you enter all information in all the screens before you submit the application, otherwise an error may occur. Questions regarding ID proofing may be directed to your Healthcare Authority Area Representative. Congratulations! You have completed Module 4 of the HCA Community-Based Training. Please continue on to Module 5 of the 6-Module HCA Community-Based Training.